has been an emotional day in Washington after a gunman opened fire on lawmakers. It happened early this morning at a baseball field in Virginia as congressional members practiced for a charity baseball game. CBS News shared this video on Twitter of the gunfire from a witness in the park. Four people were shot and two others injured. They include a congressional staffer, a lobbyist, two police officers, and Louisiana Congressman Steve Scalise. Scalise is the House Majority Whip and is in critical condition after being shot in the hip. Authorities say James T. Hodgson from Illinois targeted the group with a rifle and a shotgun. Capitol Police shot and killed him. Lawmakers said if not for the Capitol Police being there, it would have been a massacre. Moments after the shooting, they described the confusing, terrifying scene. Scalise was on second base, playing second base, fielding balls, and um, all of a sudden we heard a heard a la very loud shot. It, everybody thought that sounds like a gun, and the gunman was over by the third base dugout. Witnesses say at least 50 shots were fired in the quiet neighborhood. Lawmakers and their staff to cover in the dugout as Capitol Police returned fire. The Republicans were practicing for tomorrow's baseball game against congressional Democrats. Today, fellow lawmakers offered their prayers and promises. And that we are strongest when we are unified and when we work together for the common good. We are united in our shock. We are united in our anguish. An attack on one of us is an attack on all of us. The baseball game is a bipartisan charity event and a long-standing Washington tradition. This morning, shooting hit home for Minnesota Congressman Eric Paulson. Uh, he's not only on that baseball team, he is also roommates with Representative Scalise. Pat Kessler has more from him now. Pat? Yeah, an emotional day. Congressman Paulson shares a house in Washington with three other congressmen, including Majority Whip Steve Scalise. Paulson spent much of the day at the hospital, where his roommate is in critical condition. Congressman Eric Paulson is on the Republican baseball team. He even has his own baseball card. By chance, missing practice this morning because he was meeting constituents for a White House tour. I received a text from one of my other roommates saying that there had been a shooting at the baseball practice and that Steve had been hit. So my heart just sank immediately, going through, what, what, you know, wandering my mind, what's happening? Scalise was shot at midfield near second base. At the hospital, Paulson says Scalise's Capitol security officer recounted for him the agonizing minutes while the attack was underway. He did say he saw Steve Scalise go down in the field and he started shooting immediately to get the shooter's attention and did mention uh, that uh, his training had kicked in, but he said, you know, the barrel of the rifle was pretty much staring right down at him as he was firing. In Washington, they're not just teammates. Paulson shares a house with Scalise and Congressman Kevin Brady of Texas and John Shimkus of Illinois. You know, we joke, call him the Ragin' Cajun because he's got a flair for having fun. He's a great family guy. So you may not be able to understand his accent, but in a lot of ways, he's very Minnesotan uh, and Minnesota nice. At Scalise's hospital room, Paulson and his roommates watched on television as Republican Speaker Paul Ryan and Democratic Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi appealed for unity. Paulson says he's hopeful. Despite the portrayal of Congress is, is not getting along, we're, we're really all very collegial in, 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 you know, with one another and, and a family in some ways. Well, tonight we're told the charity baseball game between Republicans and Democrats will go on tomorrow as planned. And tonight in a show of unity, the Democratic team is hosting Republicans for a pregame dinner. Maybe a little baby step, guys. Yeah, definitely.